Hi everybody, it's Diana from It's Only Makeup. Welcome back to my channel. I have another quick haul. Yep, another one. Go ahead and get your life because I enjoy picking up things, especially using my pro makeup artist discount. So I do get a lot of things at a super, super discount. I did a haul just a couple of days ago and I realized that I left out quite a few things. And since then I got a couple of things. So I wanted to come back and give you the full picture of everything I got and get you up to date with what I have. So let's get started. In my last video, I put my thumbnail picture up and it had a lot of items that I was holding and this was one of them. But I didn't talk about it in the video. My camera cut off during the filming and I think that part got cut out. So I didn't get to talk about this Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. What I was going to say is I have one of these that I use for myself and I picked one up for my pro kit. I love these cream contour shades. This one is in the deep shade or the deep collection and I can definitely mix and match this to ma the majority of my clients to do their cream contouring, especially having this color right here. The majority of my clients are not this fair so I could actually do a combination of things to match the majority of my clients. So I love this Anastasia Cream Contour Kit and had to pick up one for my Pro Kit. If you don't have it and you're a professional makeup artist, I suggest you test it out, it's really good. And now they're selling the individual pan, so if you run out of something or you like darker colors or lighter colors, you can customize the palette instead of having to buy the colors that are already predetermined. So this is actually a really, really good bargain for a Pro Makeup Artist Kit. Another item that I omitted from my previous haul is this new MAC Studio Water Weight Foundation. This foundation is more of a serum and it is liquidy, it comes with a dropper and um, I'm very interested. I've read up about it and they're suggesting that you not use a primer with it. I don't know how that's going to work because I live in sunny South Florida. But I'll give it a try since that's what they're suggesting. It is a light to medium buildable coverage foundation and I thought I would give it a try just to see how I like it especially now that I'm losing my tan. I had a nice summer tan so I picked this up in NC42 and this should be just fine. I did a lot of bronzing and all that today so I am just a shade or two darker than my natural shade would be right now but I'm confident that in a couple weeks this NC42 it's definitely going to be perfect for me. I'll come back and give you a review on this and let you know how I feel about this foundation once I use it. But I'm quite excited. I do know a lot of the MAC liquid foundations tend to oxidize. So even if it's not a perfect color, this NC42, if it's a little bit too light, if it oxidizes, it should be perfect for whatever um, tone that I turn in just a couple weeks. These are two travel size items that I picked up from the MAC store, of course using my Pro Discount. And these are staples in my Pro Kit. I don't like to run low on these because this is something that I use often. And this is the travel size of the Fix Plus and the travel size of the Oil Control Lotion. I also picked up a Pro Longwear Concealer at NC45. I needed some of this in my Pro Kit. So I picked up one of the concealers. These next two items are from MAC's newest collection called Magnificent Me. Now there are quite a few things in the collection but I only picked up a few things. One is this beautiful blush in the color A Little Lusty. And it is this beautiful brick red color. And it is definitely a matte blush. It is so pretty. And it can be worn very lightly on the cheeks. It can also be worn as an eyeshadow. Multitask your items, honey. Multitask your items. I also picked up this matte eyeshadow color in the color Everyone's Darling. This is a beautiful matte burgundy color. I love it, it caught my eye. Particularly for a smoky eye. And this is how the two colors look swatched. This one right here is the blush in A Little Lusty. And this is a shadow in everyone's darling. Also from the Magnificent Me collection, I picked up these two lipsticks. This beautiful fuchsia color is called Fashion Revival and it is a matte color. This natural or nude color is called Self Aware and it's an amplified color. I love both of these formulas. I love both the matte formulas and the amplified formulas. The amplified formula is very moisturizing. The color is very vibrant 
and I just absolutely love the way they feel on my lips. Here are the two colors swatched, Fashion Revival and the Self Aware. That's going to be a beautiful nude color on the lips with a um, clear or a nude lip gloss on the top. So those are the two of the lipsticks that I picked from the collection. I picked up two liquid lipsticks from the Ofra Cosmetics line. I saw these on YouTube and thought that I definitely had to try them. Particularly this beautiful orange color. This is sort of a brick orange. It's not a real true orange. It's got some brown in it. But this color is called Miami Spice and it was created in conjunction with the YouTuber Kathleen Lights. I love this color. I think it's going to be beautiful against my skin, so I had to pick it up. Plus, there is a 40% off code to pick these up, so they were very, very affordable. The other liquid lipstick that I picked up is called Sao Paulo, and it is a beautiful nude, of course, what else would it be? Also from Ofra Cosmetics. These are the two colors swatched. On the left, this is Miami Spice, that beautiful, sort of orangey brick color and then this color right here is Sao Paulo and these are both liquid lipsticks. I've never tried any of the Oprah Cosmetics products so this will be my first time and why not try them when there's a coupon code that you can use and get 40% off the products. So I'll let you know how these work out. I'm very excited to try these two liquid lipsticks. The next item that I left out of my previous haul is the Anastasia Liquid Lip Gloss in the color Undressed. Now I am not gonna swatch this because I purchased this from my Pro Kit, but I love this color and I was using it in my Pro Kit and one of my favorite clients wanted it. I put it on her, she loved it, and so I gave it to her and I just remembered to repurchase it. So I purchased this as a replacement for my Pro Kit and this is Anastasia's liquid lip gloss in the color undressed it is a beautiful nude topper to any nude lipstick i was on the sephora website just checking out their sales section i always look in the sales section first to see what i can purchase that's inexpensive so i can get some of those free gifts and use my points and get some nice things and i saw something that intrigued me and it is this travel kit it is an airless system and what you do is just put whatever travel products, your lotions, your um, shower gels, your hair products, whatever liquid products that you have, you place them in these containers and they pump out and they're airless. So I thought that this would be a great addition to my travel kit. So when my husband and I go on vacation or we travel, this would be perfect for that. I think it was about 12 or $15. It was a great value and I was able to redeem some of my VIB reward points and get a couple of the things that you saw in the last video, like my Makeup Forever set, and then there was one other set that I purchased as well, or that I got free as well with that order. So thank you, Sephora. I've been trying to get more into bronzers because I love the way that they warm up my skin. I am very cool toned, and I love adding that just a hint of warmth just around the outsides of my face and warming up my skin. So I saw this bronzer in Sephora and I decided to pick it up. And this is a Sephora brand bronzer and it's in the color Honey Heat. And I thought this would be perfect as my bronzer. I'm very excited because it is a duo tone bronzer. So it'll give me that nice natural look. It's not shiny, but it does have sort of a natural finish to it. So it'll make my skin look really, really pretty and glowy without being shiny or glimmering. Listen, don't y'all sleep on Sephora products. They have really upped their game. There's a lot of competition out there and Sephora is getting in the game and they are serious. So I will let you know how this works out. I think it's gonna be absolutely perfect and beautiful. But if it's like any of the other Sephora products that I have, honey, I know I'm gonna be repurchasing this bronzer. I also picked up the Smith's Rosebud South Lip Balm in the tube. I have it in the little pod, but I don't particularly like the pod because you have to stick your finger in it and that's not very sanitary. So I saw it in the tube and I think this was $6, so I went ahead and picked it up. And it's just a slanted top and you just apply it to your lips in the at night or in the morning before you put on your lipstick. Also, while I was in Sephora, I received my VIB renewal package and this is a a deluxe sample of the Marc Jacobs lipstick. 
I didn't swatch it, but I guess I can swatch it for you. It's a Lamarck Lip Cream in So Rouge. It's this beautiful red color. I think I have it for um, from another free gift. It's this beautiful red lipstick. It's so pretty and it's kind of semi-matte. It's not all the way matte, but it's just got a nice, thick, creamy feel and I love it. And it's just such a cute little container. It'd be great for travel. And this was free. And now last but not least is my very favorite Laura Mercier translucent powder. I use this powder to set my under eye concealer. This powder is magical. I purchased it first in the trial size and this thing is completely gone. So I went back and picked it up in the full size. I do have one of these in my kit. So I use a full size one in my kit, but I needed to replace the trial size that I purchased initially for me with the full size one. If you have not tried the Laura Mercier translucent powder, I don't know what you're waiting on. I don't use any of the banana powders or the Sasha powders or anything like that. I just use this. I love it. It melts into your skin and it disappears. It doesn't have silica in it, so there's no flashback with it. And this is just the loose setting powder and this is a translucent powder by Laura Mercier. This stuff right here will change your life forever. If you haven't tried it, you need to check it out. I love this powder. The last two items that I picked up were from the Anastasia website and of course I get a huge pro discount from there as well. I picked up two of the Brow Wiz pencils to replace in my pro kit. One is in the color chocolate and the other is in the color. I lied, that wasn't last. This is last. These are the items that I use in my pro kit and I use these for every single client. What are they, you ask? These are just little pop top containers that look like this. They're very tiny and they're just a little container that has a top and you seal them closed like this and you can hold product in it. What I do with this is this is what I give all my clients sample lipsticks in. So once I've done makeup and my client is leaving, I will give them a sample of a lipstick. I also give each client a few drops of the MAC Skin Treatment Refine Zone or whatever it's called. It is a cream that you just tap into the skin and it mattifies your skin. So if a client is out, once they've had their makeup done and they tend to get oily, they don't have to fool around with powders. They can just take that treatment, tap it into the areas that are oily and it will mattify them instantly. So all my clients get two little containers, one with a sample of lipstick and one with a few drops of the Skin Refined Zone treatment. And I put it in a little organza bag with my card in it and we're done. All right, now that really is it. I don't have anything else. I have nothing else new to show you. That's my haul for right now. I do have a couple of things on my fall shopping list that I wanted to purchase because it's the holidays and everybody is coming out with a holiday palette or a holiday collection or a holiday something. I do have my eyes on the new Tarte blush palette. I definitely have to have that. I missed out on it last year and I love the Tarte blushes. And you get five blushes. I think the set is like 40 or $45. And each individual blush from Tarte is $25. So that is a major bargain. That's really the only thing that I have my eyes on for this holiday season. I'm pretty much stocked up. I don't need any foundations or lipsticks or anything like that. But unless something else catches my eye, I don't plan on doing a lot of purchasing for my makeup for the holiday season. But we'll see. I'll let you in on it. If I purchase some more stuff, I'll let you in. Thank you so much for watching the video and hanging in there. I know, I know, I've been shopping, but I get massive discounts. So I'm not spending retail on what I'm purchasing. Thank you again for watching and supporting my channel. If you're new, thank you for joining me here. Welcome to the It's Only Makeup family. Let me give you a nice hug. Welcome to the family. I hope you enjoy the content here. I've got a lot of exciting things planned for the channel. So hang in there. Your current subscriber, thank you for your support and your comments. If you have any questions on any of the items that I just showed you, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer the questions. If you want to follow me on all of my social media platforms, 
Everything is its only makeup. I am on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Periscope, Twitter, Pinterest. Everything is its only makeup. So check me out over there when I'm not over here. Until the next video, stay pretty. Deuces.